you have got a screen close to you mashallah especially for sisters who are sitting a bit more behind so you can I am the one. baby you can call me a superman cho 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 ta ta gani ta ku mama Welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we we post reaction videos, and you're more than welcome to suggest anything that you would want to see on this channel, other than just religious things. You can send something comedic if that's even an actual word um just anything adverts trailers pranks you name it other than just that we've got a patreon so feel free to become a member and we posted something there it's it's not being charged but you can just watch it just for the sake of watching it we we created one because things on youtube are just becoming strict and strict each and every day other than patreon we've got a pod podcast called diving in with funny and jesse feel free to check it out there's some interesting topics there and you can actually find some topics on this same reaction uh channel but just go to podbeam itunes you can find us there on podbeam you can find us there so yeah i hope you guys are doing all right and a big shout out to everyone that's been subscribing liking sharing inviting people to watch also just watching our stuff we appreciate you guys we wouldn't be here or come this far without you guys and we've got like 13,000 followers let's continue growing i mean we're on the road to 20,000 let's not stop here so don't forget to subscribe and yeah i don't know if this was suggested i forgot him but otherwise i'm still doing it it's a dr zeki naik video but i don't know what the title says either way i'm still going to do it because I'm sure it's something interesting. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Hi, my name is Meredith and I'm a student studying psychology from Canada. Uh, my question is very simple. Uh, how can you say that men and women, that there's no sexism when the very setup of this conference is sexist? For example, the men are seated Can you repeat the question the a bit slowly, sister? Yes. Why is it that the men are seated in front of the women? Um, the very structure of this conference is sexist. Why is that? Mashallah, sister, that's a very good question. That why aren't the women seated in front? No, why are we not? If you're going to separate us, how come we're not left to the right? Correct. Right. Why is one in front sister, of the other? Sister, that's a very other? good question. That why are the women, if you believe in equal, why not left and right? Why not? It's a very good question, sister. Because the Quran says in Surah Nur, chapter number 24, verse number 30, say to the believing man that he should lower his gaze and guard his modesty. Whenever a man looks at a woman, any breath and thought comes in his mind, he should lower his gaze. Now, if the women are sitting on my right, I will only have to speak looking on the left. You know, because I cannot look at them. Yeah, I can look at everyone. Sister, I cannot see your face also from here. You may look at my direction. If you want to see me close, you can see on the screen there, no problem. But for me, the Quran says, the moment I look at a woman, I should lower my gaze. Unless she's my wife, or she's my mother, or she's my daughter. And if someone says that someone looks at a woman and nothing happens to him, then he requires a psychiatrist. <laughs> so if you were here, I would talk to you like that. So you'll tell me, what an ill-mannered man is this? You know, showing me his back. Now my gaze is there. Knowing the microphone, I cannot see you. I can just see you, okay, just a little bit here and there. So I'm maintaining my hijab. Now, when we have lady speakers speaking, only ladies, front row, no problem. So what happens? Because it's a gent speaking. There are occasions, some occasions, then we have to keep a partition, and we can do that. And we have done that. But there's such a vast gathering, so many cameras, it will obstruct. So that is the reason, but in no way are we trying to say that the women are inferior. That is the reason we have got a screen close to you. Mashallah. Especially for sisters who are sitting a bit more behind. So you can get the view. But in front, it will be difficult for me to speak. For me to maintain my hijab. For me to look. Because in public speaking, you know, we are taught we have to look at the audience. If the audience is a woman in front of me, you know, I remember once I had gone to the Gulf country. And I was called for a talk. And a ladies' organization. 
I always say that at least the front row should be gent, you know. But they didn't do it. So half the talk I gave looking at the ground and balance half looking at the ceiling. Down ceiling. Believe me, I was in hell. Not because I was in company of ladies. I was in hell because half my lecture I gave looking at the ground and half my lecture looking at the ceiling. I had to maintain my hijab. Here I can, I can talk to the person, I can look at him, I can stare at him. If he's sleeping, I stare at him, he stops sleeping, you know. The public speaking. But with the ladies, the afar, it is for maintaining the hijab. So that is the reason, sister, it is not at all in any way trying to belittle them. And the reason we have given you one microphone instead of two, because we feel that the proportion is approximately one third, two third. That's the reason. But the moment last time when there were more ladies, we gave equal proportion. Hope that answers the question, sister. Thank you. I mean, if women have to sit behind because of religion, and that's your belief, I guess women shouldn't get offended. But then when you find yourself, because not everyone in this world abides by such rules or laws, you name it. We all come from different places, different culture, different backgrounds, so much more that's different. If the women that wear hijabs or are Muslims are fine with sitting at the back, then that's all right. But then what happens to people coming from other countries that want to see Dr. Zaki Naik and feel like they shouldn't be seated behind men? That's where the conflict comes in. Because if you think of, say he comes to Zambia, most people are Christian. And this arrangement wouldn't sit so well. This is why we have things like feminism now, because we women want equal rights. We women want to be put first, not second. Not second. Because now it becomes of the issue of equality. It's like this arrangement, there's nothing equal or fair about this. But once we... Her question was actually good because once you can have the women this side, the men that side. That's how someone from another country may view it. If you look at this from, say, these people in development, uh, developed um, worlds, they'll say that you're stealing from a woman because she has the right to sit where she wants to sit and no one can say anything. Like I said, we come from different places. At the end of the day, as long as we get what we want from a certain occasion, certain event, whatever the case is, then we're fine. Otherwise, we shouldn't base or change our culture in accordance with what these Western countries are throwing upon us. They've thrown upon us democracy. That's why you have so much confusion in certain countries, but then that peace, no matter what whether during elections, whether what, they're fine. The culture, it, it just depends. Not just religion, even the way we see ourselves or take ourselves or the way we dress ourselves. I always play around with my friends that, my friends that if I should ever get married, I'm definitely wearing a traditional dress, not the white gown these people have introduced to us. Otherwise, this was very, very interesting. I can't even... This was interesting. And I, for the first time, I feel like he answered something straight to the point without beating about the bush. Amazing question, amazing answer. I'm satisfied, I'm satisfied with everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed it. So let me know what you think. I'm trying to think if I've forgotten anything that I wanted to talk about. We should live by our own rules, created by the, by our own rules that we've drafted, not for not by rules that someone else um, drafted, just to control us. So let me know what you think about this video and my reaction. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next reaction video. Thank you for watching.